In most of the countries, a government body governs the economic and financial aspects and implements policies to ensure a steady financial growth. Likewise, in the US, the Federal Reserve System FRS, referred to as the central bank, governs the economic and financial condition of the country. The FRS, considered as the governing bank of the US, regulates and supervises the country's economy and also regulates the nation's financial institutions. The central bank works as an independent entity and the board of governors are elected by the president of the US. Further, the monetary policy and the working of the central bank are reviewed periodically by the US Congress. The central bank earns the revenue through the 12 reserved banks working as the operating arms of the central bank. The main sources of income that generates revenue for the central bank are through providing services to various other banks, interest earned through government securities, income earned through foreign currency, and interest earned from the loans offered to other depository institutions. The FRS, considered as the bank of the country, is entitled to define monetary policy for achieving various financial and economical objectives of the country. The monetary policy is defined by the Federal Open Market Committee FOMC, wherein the committee is associated with the FRS. Based on the defined policy, the FRS implements various functionalities by adopting a working structure. Since the central bank of the US regulates and governs the world's leading economy, the central bank is considered as the most powerful institution. Basic Information on Federal Reserve System the Federal Reserve System FRS, is an economic and monetary managing system of the Central Bank of the United States. The Federal Reserve Board was established in the year 1913 to ensure a safe, flexible and stable economic condition in the country. The Fed system acting as an independent entity of the US government regulates the financial and economic system of the country. The FRS is headed by seven Board of Governors appointed by the US President and confirmed by the Senate. The center of the FRS is situated in Washington, D.C., and 12 regional reserve banks are operated through the centralized bank. The objective of the FRS is to promote a sustainable economy growth, increase employment levels, maintain a stable purchasing power, and to maintain a long-term interest rate within the country by adapting a monetary policy-making tool called the Federal Open Market Committee FOMC. While the FRS regulates the financial and economic system of the United States, it also provides banking services for the member banks and institutions, including government banks and national financial institutions. The FRS provides mainly three types of financial services, namely monetary policy, banking supervision and financial services. Further, these services are provided through the implementation of a basic elementary structure, wherein the elementary structure of the system comprises of Board of Governors, Federal Reserve Banks, Member Banks and other depository institutions, the Federal Open Market Committee and the Advisory Councils. Structure and Functions of Federal Reserve System the FRS, considered as the central bank of the U.S., maintains a stable economic and financial condition within the country by implementing four important functionalities that includes conducting monetary policy, supervising and regulating the commercial banks, maintaining the financial market stability and providing banking services. The functionalities that are provided by the FRS are explained in detail along with the structural elements that facilitates the implementation of these functionalities. Monetary Policy The monetary policy refers to the actions implemented by the central bank to achieve maximum employment level and the price stability within the country. While monetary policy is associated with the central bank to control the money supply and the interest rates, the fiscal policy is associated with the central government to earn money through taxation and to monitor the money spent. The FRS controls the monetary growth at a medium pace and ensures that the growth of the monetary fund does not grow and reduce at a faster rate within the country. The FRS controls the inflation rate by adopting the expansionary monetary policy to keep the interest rate at a low level and the contractionary monetary policy to keep the interest rate at a high level. 
Based on the interest rate fixed, the FRS can monitor the growth progress and the inflation rate. The monetary policy is directed by the Board of Governors of the FRS, wherein the Board of Governors is responsible for setting the discount rate and reserve requirement for the member banks. The reserve requirement for the commercial banks defines the reserve funds required for the banks, wherein the percentage of reserve funds is determined based on the size of the commercial banks. A percentage of the monetary fund of a commercial bank can be held as the reserved fund and the reserved fund is not circulated in the market. Further, the commercial banks can opt to take loans overnight from the central bank to meet the reserve requirements, which is termed as a discount window. Generally, the central bank encourages the banks to take loans from other banks to meet the reserve requirements. Only when the banks do not offer the loan to meet the reserve requirement of another bank, then the bank that has deficit reserve fund can opt for the discount window from the central bank. The interest rate levied for the discount windows is termed as the discount rate, which is a percent point higher than other types of interest rates. The FOMC sets target for the funds rate and determines the interest rates based on the open market conditions. While the monetary policy can be implemented easily, the monetary policy can be defined to stabilize the economy by tailoring the interest rate to avoid the risk of hyperinflation. Though the central bank acts as an independent entity and is politically neutral, the monetary policy takes time to have its effect on the macroeconomic conditions. Further, the monetary policy can be used to resolve macroeconomic problems that cover a wide area instead of addressing a specific industry or regional financial related problems. Supervises the banking system The FRS manages around 5,000 bank holding companies, 850 FRS state bank members and other foreign banks working in the US. There are around 12 reserve banks located in various regions of the US. The reserve banks are located at the following regions. Boston, Philadelphia, New York, Cleveland, Atlanta, Richmond, Chicago, Minneapolis, St. Louis, Kansas City, San Francisco and Dallas. These banks provide the necessary banking services and support various other commercial banks located in each of these regions. The banking services include handling the U.S. Treasury payments, trading government securities, assisting cash management and investment-related activities. Further, each of the reserve banks collects the financial-related data associated with each of these regions and analyzes the collected data to determine the economy growth. Based on the analyzed data, the monetary policy can be devised. Maintains the financial stability one of the main functionality of the central bank is to maintain a healthy economy condition within the country, even under the fluctuating financial conditions. The economy condition of the country is determined based on the circulation of the money within the market, wherein the money flow within the market is considered both at the macroeconomic level and the microeconomic level. Based on the flow of the money, the monetary policy can be revised at regular intervals. The macroeconomic level encompasses the money flow occurring at a higher level that is determined based on the gross domestic product, interest rates, unemployment factor and the overall growth. The microeconomic level considers the money flow used for personal spending, including home loans, personal loans, car loans and mortgage loans. The FRS maintains the financial stability by preventing financial collapse and long-term capital management crisis through the application of the well-known Federal Reserve tools and by using various money controlling factors. Some of the money controlling factors include printing appropriate levels of currency based on the treasury value to be purchased by the central bank. Printing high level of currency notes can cause inflation due to increased number of currency flow within the country. Defining reserve requirements for various financial institutions based on the size of the financial institutions. The reserved funds are not circulated within the market and the reserved fund determines the flow of money associated with the commercial banks. As more funds get circulated in the market, the reserved requirement fund declared for the commercial banks are decreased and as less amount is circulated in the market, the reserved requirement fund declared for the commercial banks are increased. 
The interest rate determined for loans, mortgages, personal loans, influences the money flow. The central bank determines the interest rate by using the Federal Reserve tools, including the reserve requirements, open market operations and the federal funds rate. The FOMC sets a target rate based on the open market operations and defines the monetary policy. Based on the defined monetary policy, the reserve banks provide loans to the other commercial banks at an affordable interest rate. Hence, the customers can avail the loan at a reasonable interest rate. By adopting this strategy, the flow of money can be increased within the market. Adopting the Open Market Operations OMO, process and implementing the expansionary or easing monetary policy increases the flow of money within the market. The OMO process is adopted by the central bank to purchase the treasury from the US government by paying cash to the reserve banks. Using this accumulated fund, the reserve banks can provide loans to the customers at a reasonable rate. As the central bank purchases more treasuries from the US government, more funds can be allotted for circulation within the market, and this policy is referred to as the expansionary or easing monetary policy. However, when there is a surplus fund circulating in the market, the central bank can control the money flow by adopting the federal funds rate. The federal funds rate is an average interest rate that is determined based on the interest rate levied on each of the lending borrowing pair of banks overnight. The federal funds rate affects the rate of interest levied on various banking funds. Banking Services The reserve banks, acting as the fiscal agents of the central bank, facilitates banking transactions such as trading with the US Treasury, providing currency stores, processing the checks, providing loans to other commercial banks at low interest rates. Further, based on the financial records maintained in each of these reserve banks, the FRS can derive appropriate economy policy and the latest derived economy policy can be circulated to each of these reserve bank centers. The reserve banks maintains treasury and account transactions while holding secure funds deposit associated with the private institutions. Also, the reserve banks handle money exchange with numerous depository institutions through wire transfers and handle the payment exchange through automated clearing houses initiated across various depository institutions. In summary, the reserve banks, also known as the Bank of Banks, provide the financial services to other commercial banks and enforce a safe banking practice. Also, the bank maintains reserve cash, provide loans to other commercial banks, facilitates currency exchange and enables smooth payment transactions with other banks. By understanding of the functionalities that are provided by the central bank, the association of the functionalities with the structural elements of the FRS provides more insight about the working of the FRS. The structural elements of the FRS comprises of the Board of Governors, the Federal Reserve Banks, the Federal Open Market Committee, the Member Banks and the Depository Institutions and the Advisory Councils. The FRS comprises of seven Board of Governors appointed by the US President and approved by the Senate. The Board of Governors guides the monetary policy and analyzes the financial situation based on the research conducted on the current issues considering both the international and domestic market. Further, the Board members are required to contact the US Government on a regular basis to review the Financial Transaction Report. The board set the reserve requirement for various financial institutions and determines the discount rates recommended by the reserve banks. Duties of the Federal Reserve System While the structure and functionalities of the FRS provides information about the financial objectives and functionalities provided to the US through the implementation of well-defined structure, the duties of the FRS mandates the economic progress of the country, enhance the employment level, increase the purchasing power of the consumers and maintain a moderate interest level for various loans availed through the commercial banks. The FRS, also known as the Central Bank of the US, needs to mainly attend to the three duties that includes controlling and monitoring the money supply, regulating the member banks and providing emergency loans to the commercial banks during financial crisis or recession. 
The central bank controls and monitors the money supply by regulating the interest rates on the loans and bonds and manages the economic goals by defining the monetary policy. The central bank regulates the member banks by defining the capital requirement and the reserve requirements. Also, the central bank provides loans and services, including the emergency loans, to other commercial banks and manages the foreign exchange reserves. As one of the main duties of the FRS is to promote a strong banking system and a healthy economic condition, the central bank provides the following financial services. Banking Service the 12 reserve banks acting as the operating arms of the central bank provide the banking services to other financial institutions by maintaining transparency, safety and efficiency factors while dealing with the banking transactions. The reserve bank acts as liaison for the banks involved in the financial transaction. The reserve banks provide financial services to other depository institutions in the same way as any commercial bank provides service to its customers. Further, the reserve banks provide the banking service through two types of electronic payment service and they are Automated Clearinghouse Service ACH, and the Fed Wire Transfer System. The ACH service facilitates an electronic payment network for the depository institutions to exchange the credit card and the debit card payments associated with various payment domains including utility payments, insurance premium payments, social security payments and so on. The Fedwire electronic transfer system that is administered and operated by the reserve banks is used for transacting large amount of money across various financial institutions. The transaction can include transferring large amount of money, repaying loans, handling real estate transactions. Also, the Reserve Bank operates as a nationwide check clearing system and assists the depository institutions in processing, clearing and exchanging the checks electronically. Further, based on the FRS policy to circulate money within the market, the Reserve Banks process the cash and coin circulation by legally securing the US Treasury as authorized collateral. In addition to the above services, the FRS acts as a fiscal agent or bank to the financial institutions by providing financial services to the U.S. Treasury Department. The Reserve Banks provide savings bonds services to the U.S. Treasury by issuing, servicing and redeeming the savings bonds that is accountable for tens of millions of U.S. savings bonds per year. Service as a Government Bank the central bank considers the U.S. government treasury, bill payment and other associated financial transaction as a customer's transaction activity through an account created for the U.S. government. The revenue generated through tax payment, selling and buying treasuries including securities and the bill payment related activities are handled through the U.S. government account held in the central bank. Further, the central bank takes the responsibility of distributing the coins along with the paper currency and ensures that the worn-out and damaged currencies are removed from circulation. Regulatory and Supervising Service The central bank monitors and regulates the financial activities handled by various financial institutions in the country, including the U.S. banks, the international banks working in the U.S., members of the reserve banks, the U.S. activities handled by the foreign banks and the foreign activities handled by the member banks. Further, the central bank takes the responsibility of defining federal laws governing the consumer credits and sets the margin requirement for the investors to avail a loan for purchasing the securities. Money Management Service the central bank's primary responsibility is to maintain and sustain healthy economic growth. Further, the bank ensures to achieve this goal by implementing and devising a monetary policy. The FOMC of the central bank considers the open market operations while devising the monetary policy. Based on the devised monetary policy, the interest rates levied on the bank loans can be computed. In addition to the above services provided by the FRS, the central bank also plays a major role during the economic crisis of the country. 
The FRS adopts various measures, including addressing unemployment-related issues, managing money flow by mortgaging debts and government bonds, and providing loans to various financial institutions to overcome the economic crisis. The FRS addresses the unemployment-related issues by reducing the long-term interest rate for the businesses and the consumers to increase the purchasing power that in turn affects the labour market to reduce the unemployment problem below 8.2%. Further, during the economic crisis, the FRS can bar the mortgaged debts and bonds from the financial institutions to allow the cash flow within the market. Based on the amount of cash flow within the market, the interest rates can be decreased to stabilize the financial situation within the country. Also, during financial crisis situations, the FRS offers loans to giant financial institutions to take over the failing investment banks and provides a line of credit for the acquisitions instituted to purchase large financial firms. Additionally, the FRS provides loans to central banks of foreign countries to help the local banks to avail loan at a reasonable interest rate. These loans can be used to protect the US market, wherein the foreign market economy is influenced partly by the US market. Federal Reserve System Tools While the FRS has a working structure in place, it adopts certain financial tools to set the monetary policy. The main objective of using these tools is to maintain a balanced financial reserve at the central bank and to avoid the financial crisis. Some of the well-known tools that are used by the FRS are Reserve Requirement, Fed Funds Rate, Interest on Reserves, Reverse Repos, Margin Requirements, Open Market Operations, Discount Window, Discount Rate, and money supply. Working of each of these tools is explained below. Reserve Requirement The reserve amount that needs to be maintained by the reserve bank branches which is determined based on the liability value of the bank. The reserve amount is set by the monetary policy for stimulating the economic growth. Based on the liability value of the reserve bank branch, the reserve amount is determined. For a bank branch with liabilities over $58.8, the reserve amount is set to 10%. For a bank branch with liabilities between $10.7 and $58.8, the reserve amount is set to 3%. And for a bank branch with liabilities below $10.7, the reserve amount is set to nil. The reserve requirement defines the amount that can be used for circulation as loans. Hence, Lesser the reserve requirement set for the reserve bank branch implies that more money can be provided as loans. Fed Funds Rate This is the rate at which the reserve banks exchange loan with other banks, wherein the reserve bank offers or avails loan from other commercial banks to meet the reserve requirement. The financial transaction, including lending and borrowing the loans between the reserve banks and the commercial banks that occur overnight, is termed as the Fed funds. Further, the rate of interest at which the transaction occurs is referred to as the Fed funds rate. The FOMC meets at regular intervals to determine the Fed funds rate. Interest on Reserves the interest amount that is paid by the Federal Reserve Banks to other banks based on the excess reserve amount maintained by the banks. Further, the Fed funds rate can also be affected by the interest determined on the excess reserve amount maintained by the banks. Reverse Repos The Federal Reserve Bank takes loan from other banks and pays interest for the borrowed loan by considering the US Treasury as collateral. The Federal Reserve Bank applies the loan interest to alter the Fed funds rate. Margin Requirements A percent or margin amount required to be invested by the investor that acts as collateral for the loan, stocks, bonds and other securities purchased from a financial firm. The funds collected as the margin can be used to mitigate the risk involved in the securities lending market. Open Market Operations The Federal Reserve Banks use this tool to buy or sell the securities, treasuries, assets with the member banks for revising the Fed Funds rate. 
Trading the securities or treasuries with the member banks is similar to trading the assets in the open market. When the securities or treasuries are sold to the member banks, the Fed fund rates are increased as the reserve banks have deficit securities or treasuries to lend. On the contrary, the reserve bank buys the securities or treasuries from other banks to reduce the Fed fund rates. Since the securities or treasuries are available in surplus in the reserve banks, the Fed funds rate will be decreased. Discount Window The Federal Reserve Banks offer loans to other banks at a higher interest rate to facilitate the banks to meet the reserve requirements. Further, the rate at which the reserve banks offer loans to other banks is termed as a discount window. Generally, the banks are advised to avail loans from other banks at a lesser interest rate. In case the banks are not capable of getting loans from other banks overnight, then in such an emergency, the banks can avail a loan from the reserve banks by agreeing to the discount window. For example, in a crisis scenario, such as the post-9-11 attack situation, the banks were allowed to take loans from the reserve banks with a discount window. Discount rate The rate at which the discount window is offered to the public. The discount rate is slightly higher than the Fed funds rate, as the central bank does not encourage the public to avail loans from the reserve banks. Money supply The cash flow reported by the consumers on a regular basis. The cash flow can be in the form of currency, deposits, funds and savings that is prevailing in the public. Based on the money supply factor, the Fed funds rate can be altered to ensure that there is surplus money supply for the consumers. Working of the Federal Reserve System The Federal Reserve System, considered as a powerful and financial decision-making legislative entity, works based on the structural and functional responsibilities associated with the system. The FRS defines the monetary policy by adapting the FRS tools to provide a safe, flexible, stable monetary and financial system. The head and the public face of the FRS banks is the chairman of the FRS. The chairman and the vice chairman of the FRS banks are appointed by the president of the US and they are selected from the seven members of the board of governors for a four-year term. While the seven members of the Board of Governors, including the Chairman and the Vice-Chairman, are appointed by the President, the members are approved by the Senate. The main duties of the Chairman includes testifying the monetary policy and the objectives twice a year with the Congress, regulating the Treasury activities by meeting the Treasury Secretary at regular intervals, and heading the FOMC meeting as a chairperson to discuss the short-term US monetary policy goals. The Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, which is a policy-making entity of the FRS, meets eight times a year to review the prevailing conditions within the country to maintain a balanced and stable economic growth as well as to provide a high level of employment. Some of the conditions that are reviewed by the FOMC are Economic conditions prevailing in the country, the economy forecast, and the monetary policy analysis for each region where the reserve banks are located. Considering these factors, the committee decides whether to revise the policy or not. One of the main objectives of the FRS is to provide insurance support to the banks when there is financial instability or crisis within the country and to ensure that the financial conditions are stable. The FRS uses the reserve requirement, the discount rate and the open market tools to control the money flow and to maintain a stable economy. The reserve ratio is the ratio of percentage of reserves required against the deposits a reserve bank holds, which in turn determines the supply of money within the market. As the ratio decreases, the supply of money increases, wherein the reserved banks are allowed to lend more money to other banks. On the contrary, when the ratio increases, the supply of money decreases, wherein the reserved banks need to control the flow of money. The discount rate is the interest rate that is quoted by the reserve banks for the commercial banks to borrow loan. The reserve banks determine the interest rate based on the prevailing economical condition within the country. 
If the interest rate is increased by the reserve banks, then the loans are offered to the commercial banks with an intent to decrease the loan borrowing capability. However, if the interest rate is decreased by the reserve banks, then the loans are offered to the commercial banks with an intent to increase the loan borrowing capability. The open market operations allow the reserve banks to borrow and sell securities with the depository institutions and such operations directly impact the money flow with the public. When the reserve banks borrow the securities from the depository institutions, the reserve balance of the depository institution is increased and the Fed can offer more loans to such institutions. However, when the reserve banks sell the securities to the depository institutions, the reserve balance of the depository institution is decreased and the Fed controls the loan offering factor with such institutions. The monetary policy that influences the open market operations, the reserve requirement and the discount rate will be determined by the FOMC by setting the Fed funds rate. The FOMC targets the Fed funds rate either to increase the economy or to decrease the economy of the country. If the FOMC purchases more securities, then the Fed funds rate will be decreased as there is surplus asset available in the market for purchasing. However, if the FOMC sells the securities, then the Fed funds rate will be increased as there are fewer assets available in the market for purchasing. Further, the FOMC ensures that there is a steady increase or decrease in the economic or financial condition prevailing in the country. Additional information about the Federal Reserve System The FRS is an independent entity that governs the economy and the financial situation of the country and creates maximum employment with stable prices. The central bank works in the ecosystem by controlling the money flow and inflation in the market. Some of the common misconceptions about the central bank are addressed in the recent years and more awareness is created for the public to understand the actions undertaken to overcome the misconceptions associated with the central bank. Further, the working and operations of the FRS is monitored on a regular basis while ensuring that the central bank is taking appropriate monetary policy decision. Some of the activities that is planned and implemented to ensure that the FRS functionalities are aligned to address the economy and monetary policy are listed below. Reserve Bank's auditing is performed by both internal and external auditing firms. Further, the FRS Inspector General also audits the Reserve Banks on a regular basis. The working and the monetary policy decisions are carried out in an increasingly transparent manner post-economy crisis that occurred during the year 2008 to 2009. The FRS ensures that the public is aware of the federal funds rate targets, minutes of the committee meetings and the latest interest rates. Though the FRS is an independent entity, the chairman of the FRS needs to meet the Congress on a regular basis to ensure that the unemployment condition is reducing and the economy of the country is stable. The FRS banks sets the interest rates based on the average interest rates quoted by 25 largest banks within the country, wherein the banks, in turn, determine the interest rate based on Fed funds rate. Hence, the FRS bank's interest rate indirectly impacts the interest rates determined for other banks. The Treasury Agency of the US prints money and the FRS banks request or transfer the printed currency through the electronic clearance transfer system. Further, the FRS banks control the inflation factor by monitoring the money flow across the banks and within the country. While the FRS acting as an independent governing institution enables the country to provide a stable and healthy economy growth, the FRS also generates revenue through the open market operations. The FRS claims over $4.5 trillion assets as of March 12, 2015. Further, the FRS earns revenue by buying and selling the securities and derivatives from the US Treasury Department. Also, the FRS earns revenue by providing banking services, electronic payment services and discount loans offered to other commercial banks. The net profit earned annually by the FRS will be returned to the US Treasury Department. 
Every week, the FRS releases a statement regarding the assets and liabilities in a document called the H4.1 report, also known as the balance sheet. This report, which is incredibly complex and dynamically updated, is published on the Fed's website. The report comprises of various tables with additional linked information. The balance sheet provides information about the current financial position of the Fed that is determined based on the assets, liabilities and owner's equity. The payments to be made by the Fed and the items that acts as collateral are referred to as the assets of the balance sheet. The currency that is in circulation, the treasury holdings, reverse repurchase agreements and the smaller deposits of the government entities are referred to as the liabilities. The Federal Reserve System that was established in the year 1913 and acting as an independent entity of the US works with a mission to provide a safe and flexible financial system within the country. As the FRS is a leading and a powerful depository institution of the US, it becomes imperative for the public to understand the working and its structure in detail. The following lessons explain the elements of the FRS for bringing awareness about the system. Lesson 1 – Basic information on the Federal Reserve System explains the roles and responsibilities of the FRS and the structure adapted by the system to implement the roles and responsibilities. Lesson 2 – Structure and functions of the Federal Reserve System explains the important functionalities of the FRS and the associated structural components defined by the FRS. Lesson 3 – Duties of the Federal Reserve System explains the main duties handled by the FRS for providing a stable and economical growth within the country. Lesson 4 – Federal Reserve System Tools provides information about the various monetary policy-related tools used to perform the duties defined for the FRS. Lesson 5 – Working of the Federal Reserve System explains the working of the FRS by adapting the FRS tools. Lesson 6 – Additional information about the Federal Reserve System provides information about the working of the FRS considering the external factors that directly impacts the FRS objectives.